In this demonstration, we'll look at the capabilities NXCAM has for creating operations for mill turn machines. On the screen, you see a mill turn simulation machine with five axis capabilities, and in the chuck, I've loaded an impeller. On the left side, you see our operation navigator, which shows the setup technique we use to facilitate mill turn machining. We have a workpiece here for our turning operations at the top. Here's a rough and a finish. And then down below, a separate workpiece for all of the milling operations. <clears throat> Next, we'll go to our program order view, and you see a subprogram containing the two turning operations, and then another subprogram for the milling operations. These are post processed simultaneously so that a single G code file is created. Let's actually use that technique now to start a simulation. The simulation control panel appears. It doesn't really fit all on the screen, but I'm going to hit the play button. And from here, we'll choose to show 3D material removal. So we begin, of course, with the turning operations. If I wish to, I can turn on the toolpath. So I'll speed through this. That was our finish move. And now we're on to the milling. So we do a tool change. You see the toolpath on the screen along with the solid shape that we'll use for material removal. We're now creating five axis machine operations to rough and then finish the impeller. Although we're using only a single spindle here, our mill turn capabilities allow us to do a part handoff to a subspindle. If you have a machine with a second turret, we can synchronize the operation of two turrets in NX.